So the footage you're gonna about to see today is something that I filmed in Estonia with the snow. It was filmed years ago. I shoot. I'm shooting right now with a different camera, etc., etc., etc. But there are still many composition techniques. Actually, most all of the composition techniques that you can still implement. And it's a perfect example that even years and years and years down the line, once you learn these techniques, you can go with them further and further and further, and you can keep on playing around with them. So I hope you enjoy watching. It's a completely different day. I'm back in Estonia. It's minus 15 degrees and I prepared the winter uh, picnic basket here. And I have two assistants here, Jacqueline and Quiz, and they are obsessed with the ball here. So I'm going to throw them the ball and we're going to use different composition techniques such as leading lines, frames and circles. And I'm going to walk you through the steps and I hope you enjoy watching. shoot and the winter picnic outside and clean what are you doing here what are you doing you want to play the ball but we are gonna have some photo shoot here anyways back to work so i prepared some tea here in the thermos and then i'm just working with whatever i'm gonna find and i found like these cups which are like super super cute so <laughs> yeah all the animals are in my company today assistants and we're gonna see how it goes. So for this photo shoot, I was trying to play around with the basket because this one is basically a frame, a perfect frame. And then the house as well. So frame in frame is one of the well-known photography composition techniques that uh, that is like super simple but still super useful. So this kind of composition adds some depth and draws the attention to the main subject, which is in this case the basket here. And then uh, the classic comp uh, photography example here uh, is using the windows, bridges or path. In my case, it was the house and then the basket itself. But you can also use some baking trays, some trays and find everything that you can find in your kitchen that looks like a frame. However, in food photography, we can, uh, yeah, we can use frames as well. And we don't always have to stick with the classic examples. And uh, basically, the baskets and trays are always the perfect examples here. So after that shoot, I decided to go to the forest and use the leading lines. So using lines is another geometry in food photography. That is also a really powerful technique that you can use and you can make a really strong composition here. So the idea here is that the photographer can guide the viewer, viewer's eye through the lines to the main subject and then you can completely focus on the main subject, which is the basket here. Obviously, right now it's the ball here. But anyways, uh, in the end of the day, I ended up with this one where you can see the leading lines and the main subject, which is the basket. And then this one as well. So the lines are guiding to the main sub subject. So working with these conditions isn't the easiest one, obviously, because the battery is running low and the dogs, they're like super smart, but they are not always the easiest to work with, easiest models, but I finally got the shot that I'm like super happy with. So here uh, the dog is grabbing something from the basket. It's actually the ball here, but it looks like she's stealing, but she isn't because she's a good doggy, right? Right? She just wants the ball like so badly. Yes. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you do, then give it a like and make sure you subscribe. And we will see you soon. Bye. Um, with geometry.
geometry. I don't know how to pronounce it. Like sometimes I'm really struggling with English because again, it's my second language, to be honest. Yeah, obviously at home, I speak English uh, with my boyfriend, but still it's a little bit tricky for me to sometimes know all the English words.